Well, good morning and welcome to Corona Fits, <laughs> which I replaced with Zen Fits. So um, every day um, I get a new uh, insight, uh, a new um, way of looking at Corona and how it's affecting us. And uh, but I but I share this with you from you know from uh, a different viewpoint. Uh, the, the the more of a metaphysic metaphysical or a Buddhist viewpoint or a spiritual viewpoint uh, of Corona and uh, its positive side. So we all see the negative side is all we see. Oh, it's bad, bad, bad. You see, but everything is positive too. Every up has down, every down has up. See, the world comes in pairs of opposites, like left and right hand. Uh, uh, see, the right is good, the left is bad, but they both belong to the same body. And you can't lift anything up unless you use both hands. So if you just say only the right hand is good, or the left hand is good, only up is good, uh, only this is good, whatever division we have, this by the way is the fall of the Garden of Eden, <laughs> you bit the apple of good and bad, split the hands apart. Uh, before the fall, everything was one. Now it's two. And then when it's two, one's got to be good, one's got to be bad, on or off, you see. So we end up with doing things with one hand can't make any noise. <laughs> There's, you can't clap together, you see, because you've eliminated your other hand by judgment, by on-off thinking, by good-bad thinking. So we think of Corona as in the same way, good-bad thinking. It's bad. Well, yes, it is bad, but it's also good, you see, because good-bad comes together, except you can only see one and several say, oh, well, everything, you see, right? Everything is right there. You know, I can't see the, I can't see the bad. I eliminated the bad. But if I see the other side, then I can't see the, in other words, you can only see one hand at a time. But wisdom, awakening, the uh, prashna mind, the, the wisdom mind, the awakened mind, sees both hands, sees the good, holds them together. And it holds them together in a new idea. That's creativity. The new idea comes when you can hold both hands together. See, when they're both going like this, I'm good, no, I'm good, no, I'm good, I'm up, no, you're up, I'm up, you're down, up, 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 teeter-totter, we're going like that. When we see that, when we see that in our own mind, when we see our mind doing that, and the world is our mind, when I see the world and my mind is the same mind, and I see the futility of the left-right good-bad fight, you see, the teeter-totter, the tweedledum, tweedledee going on, you see. <gasps> now I see both. I don't see both hands. I see a new idea. I have an insight that leaps beyond the duality and the struggle of the pairs of opposites, you see. So that's the return to the garden, metaphorically speaking. The garden, metaphorically speaking, not literally, is the unity of mind and body. And that unity we experience all the time when you're involved in passionately in something, a sport, an activity, an art, a conversation. When you are just doing it, you see, you're not thinking about, oh, how long do I have to do this? Or am I doing okay? Or am I am I bad? Or I can't do it? All these thoughts, you see, before a thought comes in, your mind and body, your knowing and being, your knowing and being is one, left and right. Your knowing and being. But then, soon as mind comes in, whoops! I'm not doing so good. Why am I doing that? Well, this is stupid. Who told you to do that? What's wrong with this? It could be better. All of this negative thought, you see, is the fall. We're thrown out of the garden of unity, of our own unity, into an exile. Now, I wa now I'm trying to get back to the unity. It's the promised land. Or it's restored. It used to be, it's behind me. I got to restore it or I got to get to it. But I'm not it. You see, I'm lost. I'm estranged. 
I'm exiled. Life could be better. This is miserable. On and on and on and on. The hell between the, the past and the future, which is now. And that's where, <laughs> that's where we live when we're living in time in the fall. And our only hope is to get to the promised land. Even maybe after death, I'll be okay. I'll be with you. I'll be back in the garden after death, you know. But right now, it's hell. Well, that's all the broken mind body unity. So it's all around us, you see. So just working with corona, you know, what's the good? What, you know, so corona is bad, but the bad is also good. Hindu mythology understands this. Shiva, the three, the, in Hindu mythology, you have Shiva, uh, Vishnu, and Brahma. Vish, Shiva is the destroyer, Brahma is the creator, and Vishnu is the balance, is the maintainer. You see, and so they understand that God comes, that you know, that life is destruction and creation at the same time, life and death at the same time. You know, it's not separate, and you can't separate it. So Western culture is all designed through science under the belief that you can separate the good from the bad and just have good, just have pleasure, no unpleasant, no discomfort, just comfort, just pleasure, just good, no bad, no bad, no unpleasant, no discomfort. Get rid of it. If you find it, everybody focus. If something happens to cause you pain, the whole technology goes in to remove it and sell you something to remove the, that won't create the pain. It evolves like that. You can see it very plainly. Anything that causes pain, any machine, any technology, anything that causes the slightest bit of upset or discomfort, you see, immediately the technology and the media comes in to find out what caused it. Let's remove it. And that works with machines. Airplanes are pretty safe now where they used to crash all the time. So it works with machines, but it doesn't work with life. That's the problem. It doesn't work with life. And we are life, you see. So there's no way to remove the cause of discomfort from your life. And the whole teaching of the Buddha, of the non-dual system, basically, when Buddha was asked, what, what do you teach? He said, I teach suffering and the cessation of suffering. And even Jesus said, only those who know how to suffer can be free from suffering. And the cross, here it is, Easter. Here it is, we're in the uh, in-between, uh, between the Good Friday and Sunday. We're kind of like in this sandwich here, in this dark night of the soul here, right? That's where we are today. We're in this place between death and life today. In mythology and the, of the moon and the stars, this is the dark night of the moon, you see, when the, when the uh, waning moon and goes into uh, darkness and then comes out in a new moon, you see, the old and the new. We're in that space now. And that's a magical place because we're not death or life, we're in between. So we're holding the pairs of opposites right now in this space. And we can do this as a practice. We can do this in our everyday life, you see, if we know the practice of suffering. So suffering means when there's an unpleasant, just basically means when there's an unpleasant feeling. Somebody says something or looks at you wrong, or the cat throws up on your shoe, or, or whatever happens in your everyday life, or boredom, or negativity, or I'm fed up with this, or the coronas, all these unpleasant feelings, you see. They're just unpleasant feelings, basically, fundamentally. They're just a feeling, but then thought comes in, the mind comes in, and creates a story out of it, a narrative out of it. Oh, this should not be. When am I going to get out of here? When am I going to be able to go out again? When is this going? How long is this going to last? I can't take it anymore. I'm going crazy, you see. But basically, it started with an unpleasant feeling. And then thought comes in, you see. Right there. That's the fall. <laughs> right there. Your experience in the fall. 
So how do you how do you get from the the bad, the death, the Good Friday, Bad Friday, to the Good Sunday, you see? How do we get through there? How do we get them to come together? Not separate, you see. How do we make take Corona? How do we make Corona good? It's all bad. How do we make it good? How do we make it creative? How do we make the bad create? How do we turn shit into compost? <laughs> See, how do we how do you turn lemonade, lemons into lemonade, you see? How do we do that, you see? Well, you have to sit in the space between Friday and Sunday and be okay with it. If the wind, if you're, the sailor knows this, in the doldrum, when the wind stops, you keep your sail up and you wait. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't have corona. <coughs> You see, you keep your sail up and you wait. You're okay with it. So you're okay with the space between Friday and Sunday. In other words, you, you practice, you, if it's just a feeling, if Corona, the upsetting things of Corona, the disappointment, all of the tragedy, all of the feelings, all the thoughts about it are basically just an unpleasant feeling then it's just a feeling. You can sit with the feeling. It's just a feeling. We do that. I mean, if you, uh, if you, I have a uh, uh, a little bone spur uh, on my shoulder, and uh, it hurts, but it's just a feeling. So it's okay. It's just a feeling. We we do this all the time when we separate the feeling. When we're able to just be with the feeling. It passes. You don't notice it. As long as you're fighting it, as long as you're noticing it, as long as you're resisting it, as long as you're putting a story on it, you can't get rid of it. So Corona, basically, is just an unpleasant feeling. So if you accept the unpleasant feeling, it's just a feeling. It's not anything bigger than that. For psychologically, subjectively, it's a feeling a pleasant, unpleasant, a fear, a negativity that's based in a feeling, it's just a feeling, then it passes. It can't stay. The corona can't stick to you. You become Teflon. But Velcro, oh, it's a thought. It's a story. It should not be. This feeling should not be. I shouldn't have this feeling. It's uncomfortable, unpleasant. I don't want it. Who did it? Who can take it away? Who can save me from this feeling? Then you're stuck in it. Now you're Velcro. But to be Teflon, it's just a feeling. And it passes because everything's impermanent. Everything is changing. Nothing stays unless you stick it to you. If you're Teflon, so. The moment, the day between, the Saturday between the Friday and the Sunday is our moment to change Velcro to Teflon. See? And so when you become okay with the unpleasant feeling because it's just a feeling, then it moves on because you're not focusing it in your attention. You're not locking it into your story of me. Now it becomes creative. The energy that went into the negativity is now liberated and it becomes creative energy. And now you find new ways of being, new ways of living that you had not found before. You discover yourself because before uh, Corona came, you see, you were all locked into External habits of culture, jobs, time, places, things, all tied up in that. Now that's all gone. So now either the mind goes negative and gets into a vicious cycle, a vortex, wah, 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 or it becomes creative. So creativity happens when you can hold the Good Friday and the resurrection, the bad and the good, the death and the life as one. They're both the same. They're not separate. 
You cannot separate death from life. You cannot separate the up from the down, the hot from the cold. Just have hot, no cold. Just have up, no down. Just have in, no out. Can't do it. But we try and we suffer. So when we stop trying, we're okay with the feeling. And when we're okay with the feeling, because it's just a feeling, it passes. You shift from Velcro to Teflon. Corona fits if you make it, if you allow it. So thanks for dropping in.